Well, hello and welcome to uh, this exercise uh, in which we try to find invariant points as a result of translation, enlargement, and reflection. Uh, this is an IGCSE, sorry, well, an IGCSE GCSE 91 uh, type question. All right, so the first one says translate rectangle ABCD by the vector 5 minus 3. Okay. Right, and how many invariant points are there on the perimeter after this translation? So, in other words, after translation, which of these points, which of these four points, retain the same coordinates? Yep, this one here as well. Okay, so we want to find which of those four points retain the same coordinate. So, after translation, we end up with the image of ABCD being the diagram in blue. And clearly, uh, A has moved from there to there after translation. B has moved from there to there after translation. C has moved from there to there after translation. And D has moved from there to there after translation. So in effect, all the points have moved and none has got the same uh, coordinates. So for this, in this instance, the number of invariant points is zero. Okay, now moving on. Uh, the next one says, um, enlarge ABCD by a scale factor of minus two center of enlargement at zero zero now how many invariant points are there on the perimeter now don't forget to have an invariant point uh, no points on the perimeter uh, will have changed the coordinates and because we are enlarging by a scale factor of minus two in this instance instead of going from from left to right, in this instance, uh, to enlarge the, for instance, we're going to move from we're going to move from right to left, yeah. Because instead of going from A to D, you go the reverse of A to whatever. So you're going in, the, in you're going in the opposite direction. Okay. So now we have uh, a b c d in blue or the a in red still in red after enlargement by a scale factor of minus two now as you can see here the the resulting rectangle has given us a which is the only point that retains its original coordinate value. So in this instance, the invariant point, there's only one invariant point after enlargement, scale factor of minus two, center of enlargement at zero, zero. Okay, now for the third question, it says ABCD is reflected on the line y is equal to x. Now, how many invariant points on the perimeter? Again, the line y is equal to x is this one here. And after reflection, the rectangle becomes this one here then. Okay? So now for this reflection on the y on the line y is equal to x, only the point A retains its original coordinate value there. Okay. Now, as you can see, um, uh, the point D has moved from there to there. Okay. And the point C has moved from there to there. Okay. And B has moved from there to there. So only A retains its original position. So in this case, 
there is only one invariant point. Now he then says, now what if A, B, C, D had been a square with A at 0, 0, B at 0, 3, C at 3, 3, reflected on the line Y is equal to X? How many invariant points, invariant points could there be on the perimeter? Now, what is saying to us, what if we had a square A, B, C, D there, there, and there? Okay. Now, as you can see, if that's reflected on the line Y is equal to X, this point here will not move. That point that will not move. So it then says, uh, convince yourself that there are two invariant points. Clearly, that's the case because this point here will not move and that point will not move. So in this case, when you, when you reflect a square, A, B, C, D, on the line Y is equal to X, there will be two uh, invariant points. Okay. Now, I do hope all that made some sense and please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye-bye now. Bye-bye.